Hey guys, Eric Corner here at BPISecurity.com. Uh, it's 2012, Happy New Year. This is the first weekly announcement. I just sent out last week um, the BPI Security Newsletter, the call sign. And if you've received that, then you know exactly what I'm getting ready to go over. And if you did not, it's time for you to go to the website and register so you can start receiving that newsletter. What I have in my hand right here is a very important document. It's called the Covenant Not to Compete, also known as the Non-Compete Clause. For you security company owners out there that are not utilizing this important document, you need to start. It alleviates any possibility of any current um, employees and or contractors or subcontractors from stealing your client, from taking the guys who are working on that detail and using them on that, on, on that detail after they take that client. And it just, it just cuts out all that gray area where guys kind of tend to cross the line a little bit to kind of court that client and try to lure that client into hiring them directly. I'm amazed and literally I've asked a lot of people who are in the business as specialists and or companies who are doing this business that don't utilize this document. It is extremely important to protect you so you can go to sleep at night knowing that you're protected because at the end of the day, some of these clients go to some of your guys or subcontractors, not, not with willful intent, but it just happens. But this, this non-compete clause keeps everybody on board and keeps everybody level on the level, especially on a level playing field. So if you have not started using a non-compete clause or a non, non-compete agreement or covenant not to, to compete, you need to start. It just, it's a safety measure to, to further your relationship with that client so that you don't have to have a client stolen from you. It has happened to me. Um, and I did, I wasn't using the non-compete clause at the time. Um, and since then, it's been years ago, since then I implemented a non-compete clause on every one of my details. The structure of the not compete clause can be, you know, set up between you and your attorney. Mine is set up specifically for this area because it holds up. Uh, there's a specific case in this area that held up where a client was stolen, and the guys who were already on the detail were hired by the new by the new company, and the old company sued them, and it held up in court. So this my not compete clause is structured based off of that, and has gone through my attorneys, and it will stand up in in court. So. You need to go out there. They're all over on the online on the internet. You can find one, take it to your specific attorney, and have them tweak them to your your specific business and or type of clientele. That being said, the next new uh, weekly announcement I make, I'll be talking about non-disclosure agreements. Another, if not more important, um, tool that needs to be utilized by the client. And if the client doesn't initiate it, you should initiate it to, as a sign of fidelity. So until I see you next time, everybody be safe out there. And remember, as I always say, whenever you're working a detail, there are two protectees. The person in the back right seat behind you and your reputation. Either one of them get hurt and you're done.